Welcome everybody. How's everybody doing? Great. Hey. You know, previously in the past, I have actually performed live. Oh. And, you know, in front of like maybe a thousand people in famous clubs in New York and all of that. But the pressure I'm feeling right now, <laughs> after Manny and Alina. <laughs> oh my God. All right, everyone. My name is Ariel Mera. I am a software engineer student here at Boca Code. I do have a uh, bachelor's degree in management information systems, but I came here to refine my education. I, I, I worked in the hospitality industry for like six years, and I like photography. Thank you, Damien, for this. I'm supposed to do this, so he's happy. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, what if Damien's happy? What was that? Sorry. <laughs> it's good. This is a reflector, oh, okay. just in case you guys go, go, go. don't know what this is for the photographer. You can play around with the light and get nice pictures. Okay, so the name of my app is Impeccable Photoshoot. My app is supposed to help manage some of the main challenges a professional photographer often confronts at a wedding photo shoot. And I'll tell you what that is. Tarang! Well, wedding photo shoot chaos. Now the challenges. It's very difficult managing large groups. Uh, there's a lot of disorientation and confusion at the moment of the photo shoot. The guests interfere a lot. You always have someone that thinks they're the photographer. They're on the way. And sometimes the guests are tempted just to walk away. <laughs> oh, let me go get a drink. Let me go back to the room at the hotel. And that's a big problem because the, these people, they miss the photo shoot. My solution. So my app, the Impeccable Photo Shoot app, it benefits the bride and the groom, benefits the photographer, the wedding planner, and all the guests of in overall. How? Well, the bride, and group, the bride and groom or the client gets to design their frame exactly how they want it. Or let's say you want certain people uh, positioned in a certain uh, way, you can also do that. Sometimes you don't, you, you, let's say you have a grandma, an elderly person, and you want to make sure you get a picture with that person. You know? So this helps the photographer a lot. Uh, for the photographer as well, it personalizes the section because the app, uh, ahead of time, the photographer gets to, to know the names of the persons around. So now I'm not, I'm not, or the photographers are not yelling around, calling the guests. They could call the guests by their name ahead of time. Uh, I can also notify the client right on the spot uh, if anyone went out for a drink. So that way I don't have the bride or the groom calling me, calling me back after the honeymoon. Oh, where is this person? You didn't take this picture. I can just tell them right away, this person is not here. And most importantly, we improve time management. Now the photographer doesn't have the wedding planner. After then, hey, you only have one hour, hurry up. You're messing up my schedule. And also, if we, get, if we finish early, all the guests can go to the bar, have a drink, and they're not out here sweating at 5 in the afternoon. So that improves the workflow. And uh, there's something called the golden hour for the photographer. That's like when you get the diffuse light, the twilight in the evening afternoon. That's one, well, that's one of the most perfect uh, settings for natural photography. So that also helps because sometimes it's 5, 6 in the afternoon. And you know this, the sun is going down. You're in a hurry. It's a chaos. Could be a problem. And my app is going to help to do that to uh, achieve an, an impeccable experience. So if enough talking, let's go to the demo. This is the impeccable photo shoe site. After login, I direct the client to a suggestion list where you can actually, uh, you could use this, or you could just design your frame however you want. And this is what I call here the avatar creator. 
this is actually uh, fully online. You can check it out. This is also responsive to work fine on your mobile. You just enter the information here. Uh, okay, so let me explain real quick. So let's say this person is at the wedding. She could be the grandmom, an aunt, stepmom, but she can also be the maid of honor, the matron of honor. Same thing here. You get the idea. The whole idea is for you to have control. You create your avatars, who's going to be there. And then you jump into this section here, the frame creator. And this is live coming from the database. Now I get to drag and drop and design my frame exactly how I want it or how the client wants it. You can just shoot uh, in there as many people as you want to. You can move them around if you want to. Change positions. Let me just refresh here real quick. Uh, if you want the name, you can just drag it with the name as well. Let me just do a few people here so I can take a picture real quick. You guys ready for the picture? Smile. Ta da! <laughs> All right, so now that you have your avatars created, you have your frames created, you go to the photographer view, and this is what you get. You get a whole list of all the frames you had just created. Now as a photographer, I'm ready to go to my wedding. I can call everybody by their names. Look at this. Just keep going. And this is the technology I use, MongoDB, Node and Express. Known for the uh, JavaScript, it's a JavaScript runtime environment, express for uh, designing the API. Uh, and I did pure HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Um, I deployed my back end using GCP, Google Cloud, App Engine, and my front end using Firebase hosting. For the future, I want to build this in React Native, as Todd said, you know. Uh, one thing at a time. <laughs> the web app first, not React Native. I also thought about, you know, so maybe I should include a section where the client lets me know if there's a handicap or someone that is going to be at the photo shoot so I can plan ahead of time. And here's my information. In case you guys want to contact me, I rap, I take pictures, I'm a software engineer. 